This week has been a wonderful culmination of a long, rewarding process, mostly due to the fact that I have been able to meet the majority of my classmates for the first time. For as long as three years, many of us have labored in relative isolation, our interactions limited to online discussions, blocks of texts under names, names that became, over time, as familiar as those belonging to dear friends. It has been such a joy to finally put faces to those names. Though many miles separated us, we have traveled this road together. And here we are at the summit of our achievement, Masters in Biblical Theology. I know I speak for all of us when I say how grateful we are to our families and friends who have supported us throughout this journey, often encouraging us to persevere when we felt we couldn't take another step, which was usually around week nine of every quarter. I think my wife had those uh, weeks marked on her calendar. We are also so thankful to the faculty and staff of John Paul the Great Catholic University for all of the time and effort they have invested into each one of us. And now, standing together on this summit, we have a chance to look back on the winding path that led us here. A path dense with thickets of lectures, readings, discussions, and papers. And perhaps to our surprise, when gazing on the entire journey from this height, what we see is not merely the truckload of books we have read, or the many hours of lectures we have absorbed. It is not the incredible amount of coffee we have consumed, or the innumerable words we have written. What we see is a person, the Word incarnate, the Word inspired. According to Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, theology is unique among the sciences in that it turns to something that we ourselves have not devised, something that is greater than our own thought and which is able to be the foundation of our life, going before us and supporting us. That something is a someone, the Word, the ultimate revelation of God found in the person of His Son, Jesus Christ. Yes, looking back at everything we have learned, we see Him. He was with us in the thickets, and He is with us now. And He calls us further up and further in. For the summit we stand on today, this MA in Biblical Theology is merely a foothold of a greater mountain, in Christ, we discover a stunning reality. The God we so desperately searched for, but in our brokenness could not hope to find, was in fact searching for us. St. Thomas Aquinas said that love follows knowledge. In this case, the knowledge that God first loved us, that he invites us into his family, that he makes us partakers of the divine nature through the sacraments, that we, to quote every single class in this program, are made sons and daughters of God in the Son. The following may be seemingly a simple way to sum up a graduate degree in biblical theology, but I'll do it. What did I learn? I am loved. I am a son of God. And what am I to do with this knowledge? Love. To orient my whole will towards my heavenly Father. To rest in his arms. To let go of fear. I believe that we, the graduates of John Paul the Great Catholic University, will impact our culture not through our great knowledge, but through our great love, a self-emptying, cruciform love that doesn't make sense in a world that worships before the unholy trinity of me, myself, and I. So, we ascend the mountain, following Christ our head. 
We lay down our lives. We pick up our cross. We love one another as he loved us. We preach the gospel. We stand for truth before the powers of darkness, our courage rising with danger because we know we are beloved sons and daughters of God. And the joy that we feel this afternoon gathered together to celebrate this great achievement is but a passing shadow of the joy we will experience on that final day when at last gathered together as the whole church we gaze upon the face of the one who loved us and called us out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Thank you.